Since you have not selected any material for the takeoff tab, the Select Material for Takeoff number one screen opens up, prompting you to select material. You can save the material displayed in the takeoff tab as a material template. This allows you to quickly add a list of material for specific types of estimates. Click the Yes button. Your material templates are stored in your Documents, TurboBid 4.0, Assembly Groups folder. Double-click the Electrical folder. Double-click on the folder that includes the material that you want to add to the Takeoff tab. You will receive a message on how many items and or assemblies that were added to the estimate. Click the OK button. Click the OK button. Click the Add Material button. The material on the left side of this screen will be displayed in the Take Off tab. You can quickly reduce the number of material items if needed. The easiest method is the Check the Category checkbox. This will check the boxes for the material in the category. Then you can quickly uncheck the checkboxes for the material that you want to be added to the Take Off tab. When you're finished checking the checkboxes that you want to remove, click the Remove Selected button. Click the Category checkbox to check all of the category's checkboxes. Uncheck any items or assemblies that you want to be displayed in the Take Off tab. Click the Remove Selected button. You can save the material displayed in the Takeoff tab as a material template. This allows you to quickly add a list of material for specific types of estimates. Click the Save as Template button. Enter a name for the template. Click the Save button. You can right click on Material to see the right click menu. Plans what's on screen takeoff software interfaces with TurboBit. Please view the PlanSwitz video tutorial for more information on this right-click menu. Remove Selected will remove the material from the selected takeoff tab. Edit Selected will open the item or assembly editor. Locate in Tree will expand and highlight the item or assembly in TurboCloud's folder tree. Add Selected Material to adds the material to another takeoff tab in the estimate. You can also add items or assemblies to the takeoff tabs from TurboCloud. Right click on an item or assembly in the folder tree view. Click on Add to Open Estimate. Or you can add an item or assembly from the grid view. Click the Add to Open Estimate button. Click the Display Tab Number 2 button. Tab number 2 is designed to be used for value engineering blueprints. Value engineering the electrical layout provides your customer with the most cost-effective, yet code-specific, layout possible. The Bid Price tab will display costs for tab number 1 and tab number 2. It will also display the total cost when both tabs are added together. This total cost typically represents the bid price in order to meet local codes. Quantity takeoff documents are available that display the quantities of each tab, as well as the total quantity. The quantity takeoff document titled Tab Number 2. Add Delete displays your value engineering on a per location basis. While viewing Takeoff Tab Number 2 or an Option tab, click on the Manage Columns button. If you find the column heading name in the left side column heading section, check the checkbox and the column heading will be displayed in the selected Takeoff tab. If you don't find the column heading in the left side column heading section, click the new button and add a column heading name. You can right click on the rows in tab number one and select to include the item or assembly to tab number two or an option tab. You could add items or assemblies from TurboCloud by selecting to add items or assemblies to the open estimate. You can add items or assemblies by clicking on the add material button and adding items or assemblies to the left side of the screen.
Click the OK button. Tab number 2 is displayed. Click the Hide Tab number 2 button. Tab number 2 is not displayed. Click the Option Tabs button. Click the Add Option Tab menu item. Click into the text box and enter the name of the Option tab. Click the OK button. To delete an Option tab, click on an Option tab. Click the Delete Option tab menu item. You can add items or assemblies from tab number 1 to tab number 2 or to an Option tab. Right click on an item or an assembly that you want to add to a different tab. Click the Add Selected Material to menu item. Click the Take Off tab that you want to add the material to. Tab number 2 is designed to be used for value engineering blueprints. Value engineering the electrical layout provides your customer with the most cost effective, yet code specific layout possible. Option tabs are used to provide your customers with a price if they decide to go with a specific option. The documents in your bid package will display the pricing for options. For example, you can provide an option tab for your customer to upgrade from toggle switches to rocker switches. No quantities, no quantities or columns will be added to the selected tab. Negative quantities. Use this option if you need to remove material. The same columns for material that you're removing from tab number 1 will automatically be added to the selected tab. A negative quantity will be entered into the cell. Positive quantities. The same columns for tab number 1 will automatically be added to the selected tab. A positive quantity will be entered into the cell. Note. You can click on the Select Columns button and uncheck checkboxes or add new columns if needed. You can click on the Add Material button to add new material if needed. Click the OK button. Click the OK button. Click on an Option tab. Click the Select Columns button. Click the Den Column checkbox. Click the OK button. Click the cell and enter a quantity.